Today we're starting off at the police station and I have some great news guys. I just got the sticker for the Shoko Shiome that goes on the back of all Japanese cars before you can get your plates. So, we are ready to get the S15 registered and get some customized plates. We are now going to head to Yashio factory, get all the paperwork to Okachan and uh, I guess do a bit of work on the S15 or something or maybe we're just going to go and get the plates, I'm not entirely sure. But all I know is we're going to Yashio factory, so let's go do that. Oh boy, it's been a minute, hasn't it? S15 gang, Ichigo, Ichigo, Ichigo gang, Ichigo, Ichigo, Ichigo gang. All right, let's go park. Looks like some new wheels have arrived too. Just going to 7-Eleven real quick to get Okachani's tea. And I came across these two bikes here. These exhausts on them are super cool. Little two-strokers. Very sick. This one too. I see a lot of these bikes running around. I didn't know, like, I'm pretty sure they're two-stroke bikes, right? Like, that's the only reason why they'd have the, that kind of exhaust with the, the like, uh, chamber at the bottom here, right? Pretty sure that's what two-stroke bikes are for. I don't know heaps about, like, two-strokes and four-strokes and stuff like that with bikes, but that's really cool. Okay, so just finished doing the tea ritual with Okachan, and not really, we just caught up and uh, he's feeling really revitalized after his vacation down to Okinawa for a week, which is great. And we've got some exciting stuff that just arrived for the Sylvia, which I'll talk to you guys about in a little bit. But one thing I do want to mention is Yashio Factory shirts. Okachan's just made a brand new batch of long sleeve ones, and they go all the way up to 5XL for all of you guys in the States that were asking for big boy sizes. We got you covered, and Okachan loves that actually. <laughs> he, uh, he went around from a whole bunch of different supplies in Japan looking for that size for you guys, so he's definitely committed, which is awesome. So they'll be available in probably about a week to two weeks, depending on when they're all finished and sent to us. So just give you guys a quick heads up. Now, new wheel time. These are the fronts that we're gonna be running on the S15, Advent Racing RS2s, 17s, they should be 9Js and plus 25. We also grabbed four spares. Uh, these are also going to be going on the front of this car that Okachan's building, and then the other two will just be spares for uh, wherever we, we choose to throw them on. <laughs> uh, so let's do an unwrapping. Uh, I can't speak. I'm so excited. This is my first time actually unboxing brand new real wheels. I've never bought brand new wheels out of the box like this before. So um, if any of you guys have experienced this, I'm, a, I'm about to experience it for the first time. So you probably know what I'm going through. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We got this. Ugh. This feels so weird. Do I need it? Okay, we'll just do a little bit there so I don't accidentally like scratch the brand new wheels because that would be like an epic fail of magnitude proportions. Woo. Oh man, they even come in a bag. I'm so hyped right now. <laughs> oh, okay, is it just the top? Yeah, it's just the top to protect the rim. Come on, I want to look at you. Oh, this looks so sick. I'm so happy. So I love RGs, don't get me wrong. Yokama, Advan, RGs, RGDs, the older ones and the RG3s are my favorite. But for 17s, you can't get anything that's 9JY plus 25 for the front. And on all of Okachan's cars and the way he sets them up, 17s are just the most recommended for the front. I also am going back to these 17s on my Skyline because 18s just, they rub and have a whole bunch of issues. So when you got a lot of angle and stuff, it's just better to run 17s. This is these bad boys. They're so light. Look at this. And I got scrawny little guns. So the fact that I can do that means that uh, these are really light. I could probably toss that with one hand to Fukasawa son and he'd catch it. Anyways. Oh, just look at that beautiful Advan racing there, guys. All right, enough flex, enough flex. We've got the uh, the little fitting there for um, filling the thing up with air. I don't know the exact, I guess it's a tire valve. Um, no, it's a wheel valve, I guess. I don't know. And then uh, we got the nice little sticker there to stick on the spoke, Advan racing. All right, I'm pumped. So I've got to mount all of these for Okachan and probably including those. And then uh, it's also kind of, well, not kind of, it's actually is my wedding anniversary today. So I can't stick around all day today. I need to head home and uh, do something special for the missus. You know what it's like, guys. Happy wife, happy life, am I right? But can I just say, four years happily married, not a single issue. Well, I mean, obviously, two people living together. You do have tiny little disagreements on things like, you know, maybe I don't do the dishes enough and stuff like that. But uh, all that aside, I am uh, very happy and I love marriage and I think it's made me such a better person. And uh, I'm sorry if you guys don't like that and me talking about that sappy kind of stuff, but I'm just really proud. Four years going strong and I'm super excited. So 
wedding anniversary tonight. So probably just gonna do car stuff and wrap the vlog up there. Let's get to it. So just tightening in the air valve for the wheel. And I have to say out of all the air valves that I've dealt with on wheels, these are like absolutely amazing. Super flush here, no nut goes on this side. And like I've had issues with other brands of wheels where they have a nut on both sides and the nut like always like breaks the rubber washer and you get air leaks and stuff. This is really nice, so. Props to Advan, Yokohama Advan Racing Wheels or uh, this. It's such a long name. Can I just call these like Yokohama Advans or something or Yok Yoko Advan? Can I just call them Yoko Vans? <laughs> oh man, such a big name. But all right, this one's ready to be mounted. So we'll set this over here and then we'll go get the other one done. Dun -dun 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 ah. 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 Okay, all right, I promise no more of that, all right? You guys are probably going to take that audio clip and use it for something sus. Anyways, one more wheel. And then I'm not going to film me unboxing all of those because, yeah, well, I'm sure two is enough. Oh, yeah. Anyone uh, want this super legit JDM manual? I'll sell it to you for a uh, thousand bucks. Uh, I'm joking, obviously. I would never do that. But seriously, if you're interested, no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, let's get this puppy open. Oh, whoa, hang on a minute. That's a different color. All right, we got the boxes mixed up. Although I kind of like that color. Maybe I should put that on my car. That's really nice. All right, so after that little mix up, we found my other wheel and damn, is it as pretty as the other one we just put over there. So I'm gonna quickly put the uh, air valve in and then we'll go from there. Oh, this one you can kind of see the sticker a bit better, RS2. It's kind of cool. All right, let's get the air valve in and go. First wheel, let's pray I don't, uh, I don't scratch it right off the bat and just destroy it. We're also putting some nice Valinos on these. Gonna let that lube soak in. Oh yeah, fresh ass. Get that all rubbed on the barrel. Oh yeah. All lubed up. Now, I wonder if I can get this on without needing a tire iron. No way. Oh, yes. Ha ha. No tire iron needed. And look at that. Not a single scratch on the rim. Oh, I'm so proud of myself right now. You guys have no idea. I, oh, yes. First one done. There we go. All right, so I just got these bad boys mounted and the fitment on these is so much better than uh, the wed sports that I had on there that originally came off my Skyline. So these are 9J plus 20s and my new wheels are 9.5 plus 25. And uh, we added an extra seven mil of a spacer and they're looking pretty nice. And once it goes down, it's gonna look even more flusher. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Speaking of uh, letting it go down, let's go fondle the uh, magic jack and bring it down. See what she looks like. Oh. Alright. Lock her in. What do we look like? Oh, boys. And women, sorry, for the 3% that watch my channel. We went up from like 1% to 3%, by the way. So, hello, new 2% of women that watch my channel. Um, this looks so good. I love it. I mean, obviously, the camber at the front, we could go further out. Um, and. Okachans look a lot more aggressive, but he's got a much bigger spacer in there and these are um, 9.5 plus 15 So we probably at some point in the future if we ever do change wheels We may go plus 15 in the front just to get a little bit more poke um, But honestly, that's fine for a street slash drift car. I'm really happy with that. Also Every single wheel from Yokohama Advan comes with its own socket Which I found was really interesting. Let me show you. Oh, this is difficult one-handed Look at this I don't want to open it on my carbon hood because I don't want to scratch it. But, look, 
every single wheel comes with one. It's not like they just give you one for a full set. So nice deep socket. I mean, I'm not gonna use this. I mean, I will actually, I will use this. Hot damn. That all goes straight into my miniature snap-on rattle gun. That's perfect, deep socket too. Hell yeah, boys. Does it work on 17 nuts? That's the real question. No, it doesn't. Ah, that's super lame. Uh, I need to buy one that's got, that supports 17. Oh well. So these are probably going in the bin then because I can't use them. Anyways, now it's time for the most important part and that is putting the sticker on, Advan Racing 2. We don't use the caps on ours because we're always checking out air pressure and they're just a pain in the butt to put on. So we'll just put that in the glove box, but we're gonna stick this sticker on now. Okay, so I checked in the picture and it's supposed to go one, two, three, four on the full spoke from the end of racing where it's actually carved in the wheel up here. And uh, I don't want to do the first one on my wheels, so we'll do it on Oka Chan's ones first. One, two, three, four. Um, Cause I'd rather I'd rather make a mistake on his than mine. <laughs> All right, here we go, lads. Line that sucker up. All right, I think we got it. Oh yeah, looks just like the picture to me. I don't know though. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Let's pick up the camera for this part. Let it focus. Here we go. Oh yeah, boy. All right, it's time to put mine on and I got to put it on upside down because uh, the wheels are already on the ground so I can't just spin it. But if we line this up perfect, we should be good. It's gonna drive me insane and I'll forever know if I screw this up. We may have aced this just quietly. We just got one more to do after this. Oh yeah, that looks fresh. All right, let's bring you guys in close to this. This is like an ASMR moment right here. You ready? Ooh. Yeah. Here, let me flip you around so you can actually experience it the correct way. It's supposed to be like that. Fresh. I just realized I forgot to take the ramp out from this side, so it was looking a lot higher off the ground than it normally sits. So uh, I took it all out, and this is how it sits right now. Um, some of you guys are probably gonna, especially like some of you S chassis guys are gonna be like, man, that's high off the ground. And yes, it is, but this is pretty much where I want it because of all the tracks that we go to here in Japan, sometimes the driveways and stuff like that in Tokyo, like it's a street car and a drift car. Plus, if I ever drifted this thing at Ebisu, if I had it any lower than this, I'd destroy the entire body kit because Ebisu track conditions are really junk. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much set up perfect for all the tracks here, driveways and parking things, the coin parking places and stuff like that should see me uh, not hit my arrow or damage anything. Anyways, I'm ranting on. I gotta load these in the car and then I gotta rush home. I was supposed to leave like 30 minutes ago. Um, trying to do like a dinner thing with me tonight, obviously. <laughs> all right, so we're all loaded up. Got the wheels in the back. Saying goodbye to everyone. Mata ne, san kaimasu. Bye bye. I love this place so much. I think tomorrow I'm gonna probably end up here too because uh, we are uh, locked in dates for when we're going to get the plates. We're not going to do it tomorrow because Okachan just got back from holidays. He's got a lot of catch up work to do. So we're going to do it next week. And we're also going to do after we get the uh, the shuck in sorted out and the plates, we're going to also do a one gun cruise and get some cool footage and stuff there. <laughs> Okachan's like, we'll put your 33 on the loader and then you can just take the S15 and rip it down the one gun with me. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. Um, so that's going to happen mid next week. It's probably going to be either Wednesday or Thursday. Not a hundred percent sure yet. We'll lock that in later on. Um, but the shakedown is next month on the 16th. We're drifting the S15 hundred percent locked in unless like something happens and it blows up or something. Um, but man, oh man, things are moving so fast. Uh, tomorrow, if I do come here, we need to take the ETC system out of that S14 parts car to put into my car. Um, because I need an ETC reader. But anyways, I need to stop talking and I need to hurry up and get on the highway and head home because I want to take my missus out for our fourth wedding anniversary. So we're stuck in a little bit of peak hour traffic right now, so we're not moving too fast. But check out this really cool classic 911 on the back of this uh, tow truck. Very nice. I'm always, I've always kind of been a bit of a fan of the old uh, 911s, especially since I started seeing a lot of RWBs over here in Tokyo. But uh, that thing is damn nice. It's kind of nice.
nice to uh, drive past something like that when you're stuck in traffic like this. Well, this explains the bad traffic. There was a broken down bus and another three cars behind this that I've already passed that have all broken down. Um, so yeah, hasn't been the best drive home and I'm a bit worried now because it looks like I'm going to miss, uh, uh, what, what, what is, what, what is going on here? Did they close it? Can I, oh no. Wait, I can't go up there anymore? Are you serious? What is going on right now? I mean, there's a 32 GTR there too. Why is no one going, why is everyone reversing? Oh, it's closed. They closed it. Oh, damn. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to that way home anymore. So unfortunately, it looks like we're not gonna make it home in time. And that kind of sucks, but it's completely out of my hand and control. There's nothing I could have done. Um, I just checked and it turns out that the reason why that, that ramp up to the Tomei Expressway that I normally would take home is closed, is a car burst, to, burst into flames up there. There's a big fire or something, uh, which totally makes sense now why they closed it down. And then on top of that, I just can't get over how there were three broken down cars on the way to that ramp as well. Um, so now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to, not the next exit, um, but the next kind of like, uh, long story short, I'm not getting home for like another two hours probably. So I don't know what we're gonna do now. Probably just gonna make something at home and uh, chill for a bit. Cause I know May has a call, like a business call later on tonight. So we're definitely not gonna make any restaurants. So we'll have to celebrate later on. <laughs> Man, this sucks. Uh, the worst thing as well is this tunnel is very hot and I'm watching my temp climb. Right now I'm sitting at 91, so I'm a little bit worried about my coolant temp right now. But uh, hopefully, I mean, we're moving a little bit, so it's getting a bit of air in there, but it's pretty hot in here. Anyways, fingers crossed we uh, get out of here sooner rather than later. I don't think I'm getting home anytime soon tonight. All right, so this is ridiculous. This is the sixth accident I've passed now. Uh, people just aren't paying attention. I don't know if they're all on their phones or something and they just keep crashing into each other in this traffic from the, the fire incident. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I'm getting home till like midnight and it's only like eight o'clock right now. And the tunnel's pretty much gonna end up spitting me out back towards Yashio factory. So it's put me in the completely opposite direction of home now. And we've still got like another 10 kilometers to go. RIP. I got home about an hour ago. Uh, the traffic was terrible. It turned a one hour drive into like three and a half hours total by the time I got home. Where I ended up getting out of the tunnel and how I had to then make my way back to get to a different way onto the Tomei Expressway. Um, it ended up like I was, by the time I was like looping back around, I was like 15 minutes from Yashio factory again. So I literally had to go all the way back out there to then come back down on a different highway that would then take me through like Tokyo and Shibuya to then just keep continue straight going through to Tomei Expressway and not use the tunnel. Um, and, and as I was driving past the tunnel was still closed and uh, every entrance and exit to that whole thing was, was all closed. So um, yeah. Fun night dealing with weird traffic. Uh, luckily, as well, May was busy with a business call and tonight just wasn't gonna work out for going to a restaurant or anything. So we just ate something at home um, and we're gonna celebrate on Monday because she's got the day off work. And uh, yeah, that kind of sums it up. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna be at Yashio Factory. I wanna do a little bit of work on the Skyline first thing in the morning though, switch over those front 17s, look for that oil leak. I think I saw something though, cause I looked under there with the flashlight with Okachan cause I was telling him about the issue. And he thinks as well, there has to be a leak because we jumped on that thing at like high RPMs and we couldn't get any blue or white smoke or anything to come out. Um, and uh, we looked under the car a fair bit and it looks like that um, maybe my sump, the, the drain plug could be leaking, um, or but there's definitely some oil residue all around that. So um, it could just be even maybe like a sump gasket. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out once I get under there, um, but I'm just maintaining the oil level for now. Uh, it's not like a super fast leak, it's just like over time. Anyways, uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got some fresh Johnnies on the S15. I'm super pumped for those wheels, actually. Um, I think in the future, I definitely wanna get a gold pair because, well, you'll understand when you see the color that the S15 is going to become, but either way, black's still gonna look really good. Um, I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you the color. 
Um, but uh, it's it's going to be epic. So guys, once again, hope you like this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section if you've ever been like stuck in a tunnel with bad traffic. I want to know about that. How long did you end up stuck in traffic for? And I will catch you all in the next one tomorrow. Yashio Factory again. Peace out, guys. Jamata. <laughs>